Fun. Today is Wednesday, March 16th, 2011. I'm Matthew T.G. I'm Heath Mulligan. I'm Steve Stanley. I'm Tony Casey. Welcome to the Techology Show, a weekly podcast featuring technology, theology, and everything in between. The world's only user antagonistic podcast. This is episode 98. Woohoo! Barnum and Bailey Circus couldn't be with us today, but they really they yeah. sent their regrets. They wanted to have that whole parade of elephants. Yeah. For our <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Listen, we got a lot on the docket today. Uh, we want to b- begin by welcoming a couple guests. First, Ben T.G. Ben T.G. will be joining us shortly as we talk about campus ministries. He is currently a student at UNC Asheville. And rumor has it that he does know the producer of the show, Matthew T.G. Yeah, uh, we found out last night that we might be related. That is um, so cool. Yeah, and right. that's true. He okay. also had Arkansas Little Rock in his bracket uh, <laughs> winning <laughs> and was off on that. There so. you go. All right, uh, and a very special guest all the way from Japan, Andrea Swarthout. Uh, we worked this out just at the last minute yesterday. So, Andrea, thank you so much yes. for joining us there from Japan. It's such an honor to have you. Uh, Andrea works with Global Partners. Uh, Andrea, let's just begin. Why don't you talk a little bit about your own experience concerning the events of the last few days, and then bring us up to date, especially as it relates to, we're hearing a lot about the radiation and nuclear plant, and so um, just fill in the gaps for us right now. Okay. When the earthquake shook, I'm about four, over 400 miles from, from where it actually happened, uh, but I still was, was felt it in my home, and it was about 2.45 in the afternoon, and I was supposed to leave about 3.15 to head to, uh, to a different city in Japan, and debated, but finally decided to go, and um, we didn't really know the damage until later that night when I was in the meeting. Um, but um, we were actually supposed to have annual conference this year for, for the Emanuel Church, and that, that has been canceled, and it's just been kind of a whirlwind of, of the, last, the last five days here um, in Japan. So even though my city wasn't really affected by any of the damage, um, people are really still, still on edge, even here, mm. here in Japan. So. Sure, I understand mm-hmm. from uh, Priscilla Hammond. She's the secretary to Dr. Yes. Joanne Lyon. Joanne Lyon mm-hmm. was supposed to be in Japan, yes. I think. Uh-huh. Yes, yeah, she was. Her flight was canceled, though, by Delta. So she was supposed to be our main speaker. So. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So mm-hmm. what does it look like from your vantage point in terms of um, the church and, and what you're trying to do just from where you are? Yeah, it's... Um, <sighs> It's interesting. Uh, we're, we're thankful that uh, in Japan, all the evangelicals work together. Before the disaster, we have what's called the Japan Evangelical Missionary Alliance. And we're a strong group that really uh, tries to work together and help each other out. And um, we sponsor a group called CRASH. It's a relief organization. Uh, it stands for Christian Relief, Assistance, Support, and Hope. And um, they've helped out in several countries, including Japan, through disasters. And and so all the evangelical missionaries are really uh, rallying around, volunteering, giving money uh, to this organization to help um, to help needs physically, but also spiritually. So, what's, well, I, the, what's the number or percentage of uh, population that are Christian? Um, Christians are 0.7 percent. So there's 127 million wow. in Japan, and less than one percent are Christians. Mm. Wow. So, and in the, the area that actually was hit by the earthquake, it's one of the lowest church uh, percentages. It's 0.15% Christian in that area. Wow. So. Well, listen, um, I know you talked about crash, and we have people here in the States who are anxious to help but would love to hook up with a Christian mm-hmm. organization. So let's watch a video real quick, and then anything mm-hmm. that um, you can inform us uh, more on, uh, we'll let you do that. Let's watch this video. On March 11th, 2011, Japan was hit with a massive earthquake with magnitude 9.0. Since then, aftershocks with magnitude ranging from 3 to 7 have been hitting and will be hitting Japan. A series of tsunamis up to 23 feet high have hit the coast of Aomori, Iwate, Miyagi, Fukushima, and Ibaraki. One of the biggest concerns right now is that a cooling system of a nuclear reactor 
has failed and it's spreading radiation across the six mile radius. So what will you do to help? Crash is an organization that supports Christians to do relief work in Japan and around the world. Crash has been involved in coordinating a lot of relief work in response to typhoons, earthquakes, uh, tsunamis, blizzards and the like in Japan, China, Indonesia and India. One way that you can help right now is to donate money to Crash. Donations will be used to set up bases so that we can send volunteers to help the disaster victims. They will also be used to equip survey teams to reach out to local victims. Donations can also help to meet the physical needs of victims at a local level. Each team we send needs about $3,500 to effectively reach out and help. What will you do to help? We also need volunteers. We're gathering teams of people to send into the disaster areas to reach the smaller, unreached communities. We need people to monitor progress, to raise awareness, and to raise money. For the first week or so, we will be sending small teams of people who know the area well to analyze the situation and better understand people's needs. This will be followed by inviting volunteers from Japan and overseas to help meet these needs. You don't have to live in Japan. From wherever you are, you can help. You can help. You can help. You don't have to be rich. You don't have to be well known. You don't have to have connections. You can help. You can help. So what will you do to help? Um, Andrea, I um, know that uh, you have put this up on your blog. We'll also link people, but why don't you let our listeners know uh, about your blog and where they can find you for updates? Yeah, my blog is uh, swartyinjapan.blogspot.com. Um, I've been trying to post uh, prayer requests twice daily. Um, the situation here is is really, uh, really intense right now, and uh, we really could use prayer uh, uh, a lot of prayer and um, especially right now there's been a lot of snow up north and there's just they're running out of kerosene to run the heaters and a lot of this population is elderly and so um, they're running out of water just basic toilet paper essential needs and so um, pray for that um, as well as the nuclear reactors as you said um, the news over here is a little bit different than the news the news in America I think uh, in Japan they want to keep people calm in America it's more the extremism news and so I think probably it falls somewhere in between but the bottom line is we don't need another problem in Japan and, and that it's hampering the, the relief efforts so um, could really use a lot of prayer um. Andrew, let me ask you real quick, you know, even uh -huh. outside of this tragedy that's happened, what has been your role as a Global Partners missionary in Japan, and are there other, I know in the chat room we talked about Robin White, who's another yeah. missionary over there who actually produced the video we just saw. Yes. What, what, uh -huh. is the, what is the, how is the Wesleyan Church working over there? Uh, we have a question in the chat room. We, we asked you about... Uh, the pastor whose name I can't pronounce properly, and, and like what would just how is the Wesleyan Church working in, in typical, but then in this type of event, how yeah. how are you guys responding uh, to mm -hmm. that? Yeah, Robin was the guy in the hat that talked about the nuclear reactors, and um, uh, we're both working in Japan, and uh, we actually work with an indigenous Japanese church called Emmanuel General Mission, and we're here to serve them and to partner with them and help them in any way we can. Um, one of the things Rob and I both do, we're both uh, still study language half-time. Uh, the Japanese language is not easy, and we want to be able to communicate uh, effectively. Um, but then we uh, both do English English classes. Mm. I do an English Bible study, English worship service wow. as well. And then I preach in Japanese at different, um, different evangelistic events and also youth camps and such. But um, one of my favorite things is a cooking class um, that women are able to come into my home and just just fellowship together, but um, but the crisis has kind of thrown a lot of that sure. um, out of the way. But Robin is right now working in the crash the crash center with IT, and he is um, helping helping mobilize thousands of people within a matter of days. And so um, he he's busy working. Um, I'm home hosting a woman right now in my home uh, from the Tokyo area, and um, trying to give her some some relief from the from uh, the blackouts and the lack of food and water um, and even diapers on the shelves. So, um, so, yeah. so you're experiencing rolling blackouts there? 
in, the, in not in my city, um, okay. in Tokyo, Tokyo is, and so yeah. that affects the trains as well. Um, Japan's kind of split in half on the on um, on the electricity scale. Um, one is runs on 50 hertz, and the other runs on 60 hertz. So you can't oh. really share. And Tokyo is in the part that's that was affected by the nuclear plants, and so they're having to do shortages, power shortages, to conserve on yeah. on energy. So. All right. Well, listen, before we let you go, Andrea, what we'd like to do mm -hmm. is uh, just pause for a time of prayer. We're going to ask uh, Pastor Steve Stanley, if he would, to uh, lead us in prayer. Heavenly Father, we, our hearts are breaking with the news that we hear from Japan and so much human suffering almost beyond our comprehension or ability to conceive. And uh, we know that your heart is breaking, too. This is not the world you created, not as you created it. And your response in the middle of it is going to be determined in part by what your church, your body on earth, will do. We are grateful, so grateful, that we have people like Andrea and those who are with her, believers scattered across Japan, who can be your hands and your voice, on scene. We pray for peace for them and protection, and we pray for a power from heaven itself uh, to flow through them to bring hope and health and healing there in that nation. We also ask, Lord, that you would help the believers around the world. Long before there was a Skype, uh, we were under your loving influence and care. And we ask that your spirit would stir up the hearts of believers to give and to support yep. and to pray generously, faithfully, and passionately that this that the devil has done in injury and mm -hmm. affliction might be turned to glory and a wonderful yeah. door of opportunity for the love of Jesus <laughs> to be shown in that, in that country. And we ask again, in particular, your protection and your hand to be upon Andrea as she comforts and speaks to and connects with others in her community and within the missions organization itself. May you be with them, and may they be conscious of your presence, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, Andrea, thanks again, and uh, we'll keep close contact with you, and uh, Lord willing, in the future, if we can get this worked out to have you on again, we would love to do that just to get updates. Yes, Absolutely. thank you. Thank you. Yeah. God bless you and your work. Thank, thank you, you very much. much. Appreciate it. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.